He came from Mexico as a young man looking for a better life. From factory worker to auto mechanic, Jesus Garza built a successful business in the city of Arcola, 170 miles south of Chicago. But then he tackled his biggest challenge of all, politics. WGN's Julian Cruz has Garza's remarkable story. Jesus Garza, defying conventional wisdom, the 52-year-old immigrant launching an improbable bid for mayor last year, historically many Mexican-Americans leaning Democratic, but the city of Arcola record show is heavily Republican, so how did Garza pull it off? I don't speak any, any English at all. Jesus Garza remembering the difficult journey 30 years ago and the struggle for a foothold in his new central Illinois home, Garza leaving Mexico at the insistence of his father who'd already moved. My dad, uh come to Arcola in 1971. A young Garza finding carpentry work and a 12-hour shift at the nearby broom factory. I work a night shift on the factory from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Garza sleeping several hours a day with wife Hortensia packing him a lunch for his second job as a mechanic from 1 to 5 p.m. His proficiency at rebuilding transmissions drawing attention. Everybody rebuild one transmission a day and I'm rebuilding two a day. 13 years later, with a growing family, Garza opening his own repair shop, 3J's Transmission, his children's first names, starting with the letter J. He's got a, a reputation of doing honest business. Clyde Powell, like so many others in Arcola, impressed by Garza's fairness. If you ask anybody, they're going to say 3J's is the place to go if you need work done. They instantly gain that trust, and they're like, you know what, he's a man of his word. He does a good job at his business. But this farming community of under 3,000 people at times struggling to retain or attract new jobs, and that concerned Garza. When I see the town, especially downtown here, they start closing all the business. With a potent brand for getting things done, Garza sees support for a move into politics. He gets things done. We try to do the right things for our community. So he announces a bid to be the first Mexican-American mayor in our COLA history. We start knocking the doors. With the help of family and supporters, Garza reaching out, knowing he'll get much of the Democratic Hispanic vote, but crossing over to Arcola's many Republicans, a tall order. It is going to be a, a challenge, but again, you know, it, it's, it's, it's earned with, with hard work. Local GOP voters, according to election officials, voting overwhelmingly for Donald Trump in 2020, the same Trump who infamously called Mexicans drug dealers, criminals, and racists. But in Arcola's April 2021 mayoral election, voters of all political stripes propelling Garza to victory with 42% of the vote in a contest with three other candidates. <laughs> Celebration and joy at the Garza home after the historic win. It's a lot of emotions there. He feels a lot of emotion because he's doing a lot of things for this town. Garza spearheading a push to install street lights and beautification efforts. You can drive through the parks and see the changes he's made. Garza's remarkable win drawing national attention. Last week, another guy from Texas called me and said, hey, I want to open a business in Arcola. <laughs> Garza's 16-year-old daughter, Jade, celebrating with the community at the 51st annual Arcola Broom Corn Festival in mid-September. His granddaughter, Adi Lou Garza, and a new generation in central Illinois pointing to an optimistic future for Arcola with a less combative, more cooperative approach towards government. Mayor Garza says new businesses are opening in Arcola and he'll remain focused on bringing jobs and opportunity to the city he loves. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm Julian Cruz.